Hi, this is Fred Karpoff with Entrada Piano. This short video shows a couple of important things to notice in early scale playing. Allison wanted to explain to me how her older brother had shown her how to do the turnaround without repeating the top scale note. And in the process, we got to capture how her legato scale was developing. First, let's note that playing legato is a great challenge for elementary students, and that in the early stages of study, I favor playing portato and two-note slurs to develop both listening skills and whole body coordination. By the time of this lesson, Allison was already demonstrating very good application of having a quiet hand and, for the most part, supported joints. Well, when I like played a song, like D major scale, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. I was going like this. Mm -hmm. Like all the way, like this. And then I like still didn't press the C like this. I see. Well, I didn't do this because yeah. Ivan told me to do this. You played really well legato, didn't you? Yeah. That's great. Let's look at that again. About half of the time, Allison plays with minimal adjustment to pass under with the thumb. That is, without overly tensing in advance by using the thumb under technique most of us learned early on. She's releasing each successive note and supports her fourth finger pretty well by standing a lot taller with her wrist when the fourth finger plays. She employs excellent economy of motion by maintaining a quiet hand. There is no excess finger or hand tension. Her fourth finger does collapse sometimes, which is very common at this stage, but that will develop in time without any great concern. More important, Allison is listening well, matching the decay of the previous note and releasing the previous finger as she completes the scale. You played really well legato, didn't you? Yeah. That's great.